Cape Town was home to our latest Sunday Times reader event, where guests were invited to join the Good Times team at the first hotel in South Africa to offer hot and cold running water to its guests in 1899. Steeped in history, the Mount Nelson Hotel's Planet Restaurant was where the 2011 Sunday Times Chef of the Year, Vainan van Royen, was to showcase his already acknowledged winning talent by serving a six-course meal accompanied by carefully selected Beaumont and Tambours Kloof wines. But really the purpose of this evening, apart from having you here for a wonderful dinner, is um, to enjoy the Mount Nelson Hotel and the Planet Restaurant and to actually celebrate our Sunday time chef of the year, Rainer van Rooyen. Um, he won the competition last year and it, it was really wonderful to have such a young chef win our top category of the competition. It was all go in the kitchen, with Vaynant admitting to having worked double shifts all week to prepare for his big night. So just how has winning the Sunday Times Chef of the Year affected your career? Your career change from the Sunday Times competition has been huge. I mean, photo shoots, um, radio interviews, TV shows, um, did a TV show for a, a, a Scandinavian program, uh, which was awesome. Uh, yeah, just lots of op uh, doors, doors opening with this competition. And like I say, for me, entering this competition and being the youngest guy to have ever won this competition, just, oh, I, I can't describe the feelings. So what can the Good Times guests expect from you this evening? So tonight is going to be very special for me. Um, 25 years old, going to entertain people with the food I love. I got the opportunity to give my food to the people and hopefully everyone's going to enjoy it out there. Whilst waiting for all the guests to arrive, the guests sampled the canapes on the patio before entering the Planet restaurant. It was in there that guests were wowed by Van Royen's favourite foods. The wine that we'll be enjoying with this um, with the starter, um, it's a Tamburisco Viognier. And Viognier is quite a spicy uh, grape variety, so it um, it will tend to to handle the horseradish. Spice cured trout was served with beetroot lentils and fresh horseradish. This was followed by ox cheek tortellini, plated with cauliflower puree, firm and crumble. Next was breast of quail, Jerusalem artichoke puree, and barley. Working in a kitchen where nothing is wasted. Van Royen took the offcuts of the quail and created a quail sausage. Thinking this was the last course, we were all served a chocolate peanut and banana creation. As mentioned, this was not the last of the gourmet treats. We were presented with an assortment of bite-sized, tasty treats to accompany our tea and coffee. Celebrating her birthday, this guest told us about her experience. I think it was a great time having a six-course meal. I don't always have all of that. And I like the way they dish out for the colour, the mix, and I, I think the taste was exquisite. I love the wishbone and the bag. <laughs> yeah, so that was beautiful and the wines were amazing. I don't normally mix all my white wine and my red wine, so it was a rare experience for me to have all of that. And I'm still okay. And on top of that, I had my favourite cup of tea, green tea. So I had a, a really good evening. With the last of the guests slipping out of the door, we asked Van Royen how he felt about the evening's events. Absolutely amazing, gorgeous. Exhausted, but glad that, it, that it's over. Yeah, I was stressed. I was, I was, yeah, all over the show in the kitchen, but people loved it, so, so I'm happy and, and I'm glad that everyone enjoyed it. Yeah, one thing I've got to say is thank you very much to my team in the kitchen. I wish we could have them in the, in the restaurant right now to, 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 to give them a round of applause.